Okay, let's begin. I hope my screen is visible and I'm I am audible also. Yes. Okay, guys. Uh, welcome once again officially to this edition of weekly lives on a miraculous Monday happening on a wonderful Wednesday. This time, as I told you, I was traveling on Monday. For the past seven days, I have been traveling. Joined back today morning only. So. Uh, this is the penultimate episode and we wrap up the series with the mega finale next week. Next week, uh, the episode again takes place on a Tuesday, not on a Wednesday. Next week, both episodes will be on Tuesday and Wednesday. The Thunder Thursdays and the Miraculous Mondays. Because 27th is a event in my family and 30th Thursday is my dad's anniversary, which is a mini education day. There will be three further webinars on that day, which I'll notify in tomorrow's session. So let's concentrate on today's session uh, officially today. So all, as usual, all my presentations always begin with thanking the Lord Almighty who has given me much more than I deserve. And this is my brief CV, you all are aware of by now. So I was supposed to take marketing part two today. Uh, and maybe part three if uh, at all the audience interest was there. But then uh, I have, uh, when I was traveling also, I came across this news. And in the past three days, this has become the hottest trending topic. So I've just shifted the priorities for a little while. And I mean, uh, just for this episode, I mean to say. And I mean, uh, just so marketing not two, but as a bonus, uh, part two and part three both happen in the next week finale episode. It will be on Tuesday 28 June instead of Monday 28. Because this will be again not a half an hour, or it will be an hour long special episode. It will be continued from part one of the month. So part two and part three also happen in the same episode. So today we are going to take up this topic. As most of you saw in my WhatsApp group that I put up the post, uh, this is the hottest trending topic. Of course, uh, we cannot uh, just go into these two images. The, even the images on the social media are uh, a little bit diverse. One of them is showing the swelling on the left side. One of them is showing the swelling on the right side. So there have been multiple variants, but we all know what makeup can really do. So it is not only about the swelling, it is about the other change in texture and color skin. Of course, uh, any racial bias side, I'm not going into that part. But uh, just to tell you, know, let you know that what all can be done sometimes. So what is the topic for today? The topic for today is the actress Swati Satish uh, Root Canal. This actress is the Kannada actress Swati Satish. So my topics for debate are, is the dentist really at fault? Is the, dent is the actress really suffering? What is the real truth? And the debate begins. Of course, it is open for discussion for everyone. So. This was the post which has been going rounds in where on various social media, particularly Twitter, particularly other things, other social media. And you know, we all know the negativity and the bad news spread faster. And when any healthcare professional is involved, it spreads doubly faster. And uh, people make a judgment. People start running their own quotes. People run a social media trial. The media does its own uh, game. And of course, the healthcare professionals do suffer. Fault or no fault, let the competent person decide. But before that, any person is made guilty in the eyes of uh, anyone, you can say. So what is the brief story? Let me just give you both the versions, then analyze it. And of course, uh, then further postmortem it, uh, whatever way we can. So uh, the actress detailed about an episode which happened 23 days back. Today is 23rd of May. Or 23rd of June, or 22nd of June, sorry. So this episode happened, it was divulged first on 20th of June, two days back, which happened 23 days back on 28th May. She went to Oryx Dental Multispeciality Dental Center run by Dr. Dhananja Sanjay. And uh, Satish, who had been suffering from swelling on the face, is now on her path to recover. And she said, even though I'm recovering, one thing is still there. I don't get my proper lips shape back. I can't smile perfectly. It's been 23 days that I don't have any sense in my lips. And as per her current doctor, which what does it mean that if she already has in a second or a third opinion already in place? It may take another two weeks or a month to get back. My root canal is, isn't even completed because of the spelling current. Now, there are multiple theories go, which are doing the round here. Is it only a root canal procedure? It is a, a exclusion uh, of uh, LA or uh, exclusion of hypo or any peroxide injection. 
सेलिसाइक्लेट इंजेक्शन विच इज बिंग और एट ऑल इट इज कॉस्मेटिक प्रोसीजर ऑल्सो बिकॉज यू नो वेन सेलिसाइक्लिक एसिड इज मैंशन इट इज यूज एज केमिकल पील यूज सो वट एक्जैक्टली समथिंग आर नॉट क्लियर बट वट मेजोरिटी ओपिनियन पब्लिक ओपिनियन और पब्लिक न्यूज हैज बीन इन देयर इज दट चीव एंड फॉर रूट कनॉलिटी and probably because of a accident it resulted in a big swelling can be allergic reaction can be atrogenic can be pathogenic can be cellulitis can be special infection can be a multiple things but what exactly is the focus here let's shift to that now dr dhananjay sanjay he is the owner of orix dental care he says that the actress has recovered almost fully he says i have videographic footage which means cctv footage with or without mic we don't know must be with mic only if he is so confident to prove that the swelling on her face is gone and she is doing completely fine right that is what the old dentist claim the photos that she has shared with the media are over 20 days old from the first or second day of the swelling now the question is it is not about the first or the second day of swelling it is about certain things which happened in the past as i said she shared the photos after 23 days on 20th of june so now the actress satish swathi satish has alleged that dr dhananjay's wife dr mayuri sanjay who treated the actor she was negligent during it. that is what her version is and she has taken a second opinion in various news reports it has been mentioned that when i consulted another dentist this is what i found out now this is the patient's version the dentist who did my root canal first injected me with sodium hypochlorite at which point i screamed and started crying because it was extremely painful later she injected an sc according to her current doctor this should have been done the other way around then she just goes first and then the sodium hypochlorite see there are so many parameters involved in that i'll be discussing that in the next section of legal analysis uh, the point is we we don't know what exactly happened we can only make uh, as persons as per the stories reported because the patients don't know sometimes the full story the dentist says he followed the proper protocol dr sanjay's version is we have videographic proof to show that the procedure was followed correctly and a local anesthetic was used before the sodium hypochlorite maybe it did not act maybe it was a hot tooth who knows however it may have been possible that at the time of injecting the sodium hypo some may have spilled out onto the nearby soft tissues which resulted in inflammation now this one point automatically tells you that the rubber dam was not used how many times we have maintained that even if if it goes to a we can say a dental board they are going to hold the dentist guilty and if you are using a if you are doing a root canal the rubber dam has to be the gold standard it is the normal followed standard so if he has himself mentioned spilling out of the nearby soft tissues at least he is guilty on one count he is never mentioned about the documentation part he is mentioned the videography proof he is lying only on cctv so no mention of documentation no mention of rubber dam he is himself mentioned it may have spilled on now this kind of occurrence is quite common this is dr San- dhananjay sanjay's version spillage on two tissues is absolutely normal it is his version it is not the commonly go to opinion version so he says i am in the field for the past 5 years i have seen such situations arise five years is not a very big time to be called as a very experienced person in regard our job is is to know how to deal with it and the right way to do is to make sure to take the right medication and antibiotics i unfortunately don't agree with this point if you are causing an injury and then you know how to deal with it by giving the right antibiotic and medication i'm sorry that is not the correct answer or the worst he has a flimsy stand whenever it com- comes to those situations we understand she may have been stressed or panicked at that moment we could not help her because she was not ready to accept our help why would she why would she i started off with a question mark is the actress really suffering is the dentist really at fault no words to say there are a few things which are a little bit dodgy of course this is the reported version we don't know the exact version but that is what we can make out for the from the statements given by both the parties that is what we can make out now 
he says she asked us to pay her one month worth of salary along with cost of varsity which comes out to around 40000 a blackmail kind of a thing maybe now the actress is guilty on this count so we denied her the compensation she decided to go public with this incident 23 days after it had occurred now she told us the swelling will cause her to lose her job which we offered to give her a medical certificate which advised her to take rest for 20 days until it heals i'm sorry she cannot she cannot issue a medical certificate in this regard for a bed rest is please that is against the dci rules what more can i say even that is limited to oral surgery for any surgical procedures however she rejected the offer and publicly asked people to down rate my clinic on google and fans and emotional followers we all know what they can do within the span of 1 hour my five star rating went down to one star rate i had to take my clinic and address off the website the damage was done he could have dealt with this situation a little better i have suffered a lot mentally because of what has happened she'll claim that she has suffered better uh, worse than her worse than him sorry in that i did not want this to become a big situation but if she decides to take the legal route then i will do it as well because i have all the proof i need he says so i'm not really sure i'm not really sure there has been no mention of those things now the actress says the mistake has cost her almost everything i lost my job lost my orders lost my contracts for modeling even a few tv serial offers as well as movie offers and one of the news also reported that she has one movie ready and she was supposed to begin the promotions for that which might be delayed because of that which might suffer financial losses and the producers might uh, actually uh, uh, take him to court for this that she has been delaying it uh, she was asked as usual by the media hungry frenzy media you can say publicity hungry will you be taking any action against the clinic she says i will let you know soon now this is both the versions and in short the story and the synopsis of this i've already told you about the statements we have to be very very cautious in what we say we 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 hardly have any communication etiquette in that regard we, we don't use our words very carefully especially the second opinion dentist sometimes they tend to go overboard We, we we get fancied we we treat indian celebrities indian actors indian cricketers indian politicians as god is you kind of a thing unke sath aaje to pehle ek selfie lete hain hum aur pyar pyar mein hum sab kuch apne secrets bol dete of course every trade has a secret it does not mean that they need to be divulged to everyone so let's do the analysis of the case first then we will do the legal and the social analysis of first so what, let us see what it can be what this swelling can be. possibility the first possibility is it is an hypoxemia accident hypochlorous sodium hypochlorite i mean or an extravasation of the into the tissues maybe a phoenix abscess maybe a hematoma because there was a mention that in one of the news articles also that maybe she was injected with hypochlorite and not la many clinics this incident has happened in in my initial career i was working in a hospital you can say one of the colleagues uh, wrongly injected hydrogen peroxide or I, I, i don't remember but either of the two injected in the place of esa block and the patient had big swelling within 5 minutes and i'm talking of the year 98 99 almost 24 years back when i was working as a fresh colleague in fresh uh, fresher dentist in my first jobs in gtb hospital seen those things live wrong injections sometimes because sometimes people have done it their assistants are new they don't know that the hypo syringe sometimes has to be bent and of course the other uh, the ls syringe doesn't need to be we don't make such segregation sometimes inexperienced assistants do make this mistake then probably space infection quite possible cellulitis possible and the arterogenic or pathological flare up maybe yes we don't know the history of the case we haven't seen the preoperative x ray there has not been a mention of the preoperative x ray also if you if you have been watching my lives regularly i have discussed the cases where preoperative x rays the other factors have come into play 
Now, this is one case scenario which caught my attention because in this, everything other than those cases which I have taken up in the past, in episode 17 and 20, they, they, they have come to the picture rather than those episodes, the things which were there. If you thought those episodes were the end of the world in the terms of legal scenario of the roof canal cases, welcome, welcome to the new reality. This is the new reality. Over instrumentation, cellulitis, of course, all these can be possibilities. Most likely, it is an hypo exclusion act in my case, going by the looks of course. Now, the statements of the actress have mentioned salicyclic acid also. I was injected with salicyclic acid. The first thing is, it is not usually available in liquid form. And it is not found in majority of the dentists. Unless the same clinic is using hair and skin transplant and skin cosmetic and botox and everything. Where they might be, the salicyclic acid is, might, uh, use, might be used as a chemical peel pen. Which doesn't seem to be the case scenario. Still, we don't know whether it is a skin care as well. Which does not seem to be the case right. So why, where does the salicyclic acid come into picture? We don't know. It might have been like that. That sometimes it, it does not uh, go into that situation. Now let's explore the. This is about the case analysis. Let's explore the legal angle at the time. So the actress has already given a hint. Indeed, the burden of truth, the burden of proof lies on the plaintiff to prove her case. The burden of proof means the one who alleges he has to prove, he or she has to prove. On the plaintiff, plaintiff means the complaint in the legal language. So the burden of proof lies on the plaintiff to prove her case that the doctor was at fault. Of course, the courts are not competent enough to decide. So they always refer it to an independent dental board as well, if it goes to court. And there will be a team of specialists involved. We saw in the episode number 17 and 20 with the case uh, which happened in Hyderabad, Telangana. So not necessarily all of them might be endurance. And in that case scenario, if you remember, the judges have picked up the minor opinion. Three people were there, two gave the clean shirt. One was saying, one, the neighboring dentist was at you saying that maybe he was he or she was not at fault or was at fault, sorry. Personal enmity, neighboring dentist, we don't know the reason, but yeah. And the judges picked up that. Of course, as I, as I detailed in there also, it was a biased thing. Now, one thing the dental board will examine would be the documentation. They'll check can resort to that. It was. It is a standard gold. Uh, you can say it is a gold standard has been there. The Bolam test. We all know. Uh, I have explained various consent videos as well on my YouTube channel. So you all know it. The ref. The the most surprising thing is that none of the parties have made any reference of documentation in so far in any of the news. And by far now, I will believe that uh, the media is already trained on these things more than many of us. That they will pick up this point. Unfortunately, they haven't. Even the dentist has given a reference of the videography only, which I believe is nothing but a CCTV footage with mic, without mic, which may not be conclusive. Of course, the, still, the, uh, it has to be proved by the complainant only. But when the board gets involved, and if it is a hypo accident or anything similar, no reference point has been made for consent, no reference point has been made for rubber dam, no reference point made for root canal specialist is doing it or not doing it. Whether Dr. Mayuri, Sanjay is an endodontist or not, or, or probably, what about, I'm not saying it is, it is a mandatory thing for the endodontist, but going with the past case scenario, which, which we have dealt in the episode number 17 and 20, and before that also, there are so many more angles which come into play. So, a speciality thing, all these things, because we, we are all constantly walking the line of fire. Along with legal angle, of course, there is a big social media angle also which the dentist has already tasted. He's, within one hour, he's gone down from five-star rating to one-star rating. There will be a media trial which will go on biasly. I say it uh, in, in a non-shameful manner. It will go on biasly against the dentist for sure. Wherever healthcare professionals are involved, the media is always. So, dentist case, jite na jite, wo baat, win or loss is always secondary in these situations. What he has suffered already and will suffer in future is the reputation loss, which matters. Consent becomes your biggest saver in such cases. Especially if you have diagnosed it pretty well, you expect an infection, you expect some swelling, you expect something. There, there might be, of course, a proper skill is required in using hypochlorite, using precaution in the form of rubber diamond, all those things. 
so all those things are necessary no doubt about it we cannot escape those things but uh, the problem is case goes much later it will be it will be a social media frenzy will be created since swati satish is a social media celebrity the first thing she has already done that she'll further post when she might see the game losing out of hand or going out of hand maybe a little bit of this is a human emotion we all try to react back she may post on social media of course to get sympathy she will complain to media and newspapers and will get publicity which is their primary fodder of course she might create a hype out of the situation to blame doctors which many of us are already on tenter hooks then she might incite vandalism i'm not saying she'll do it this is this is a possibility indirectly through her supporters by physical damage or injury to clinic or maybe an engagement or a cry baby so the problem is this in india we don't choose our heroes wise so there has to be certain things which have to be taken into account so this was the topic for today's session uh, the actress uh, swati swati speech to now is the dentist really at fault we don't know but yes a couple of things are dodgy which are debatable is the actress really suffering as per the dentist she is not after the initial phase she is already healed up well but just she is trying to make up for the loss of the time again we don't know the real truth there are quite a few things which are against uh, the dentist uh, against the actress of course so what is the real truth it might surface in the few days to come so the debate begins and is open for all of us so what is the carry home gyan for all of you it is going to be a long war they are going to go the legal route one thing is for sure there will be no easy choices for both of them so arrogance and ego will have a big role in this for sure on both the sides we actually don't know what transpired between the patient and the clinic in terms of communication in terms of consulting in terms of warning in terms of consent in terms of documentation in terms of procedure in terms of skill in terms of knowledge in terms of uh, whatever the patient was dealt with in terms of post operative care in terms of the facilities offered in terms of the diagnosis in terms of the explanation of the facts there are in terms of so many things which i have just mentioned they they all can be decisive in the court and the second opinion scenario whenever it comes into picture is used as a manipulation scenario by the doctor that doctor told me because many of us as i said we get we get ah oh, celebrity in my clinic and we start filling out our trade pictures of course i'm not saying something wrong or good in that but there is a certain line which we don't need to cross because many of us lack our basic communication consultation etiquette and i say it unshamed this is a fact we get overawed by uh, celebrities visiting us and our primary objective is to selfie le le pehle social media pe dal de wow this dentist is a big uh, fan this dentist is a big uh, follower he is having selfies with every known actor and actresses we can easily speak against our colleagues without even understanding the consequences that one day fortunes and the roles might be reversed one day the tide can reverse against us also we are also human this is quite a bit of possible as they say in the in this was a re, in the in the very recent akshay kumar uh, rajnigandha ad so maybe it was an elichi ad but uh, we all know what they are selling actually so choose your heroes wisely uh, people are promoting good kind and all those things so that is the reason so india film star politicians and cricketers are akin to god we forget they are also human like us and don't deserve special god is few status that we give this is the only country where they are doing it in in uh, you can say in foreign countries in australia in uk sometimes the presidents and the prime ministers are also traveling uh, respectively wherever applicable are traveling in the local metro and the local uh, local trams like normal people we have made them into a god is few status and we need to evaluate why and why why and where is the treatment really gone wrong so the there have been social media frenzy you can say dr mayuri story dr dhananjay story dr ms swati satish angle who is at fault who is not at fault we'll know in coming days of course so moral of the whole story is the medical procedure have their own risks and complications only the treating doctor we, we should not make a play a judgment immediately about our colleagues because i always say there is nothing wrong or right in this world it is only the perspective which matters sometimes the person in the, on the other side knows why he did that why he did that and how he did that we only can make assumptions and suppositions and those both of those things assumptions and suppositions are dangerous 
so it can happen with anyone and can be managed without any fear and morbidity but what we don't need and which is usually done without we even needing it is the social media trial it is a fast paced world and we we all get undue attention and, and colleagues only tarnish the image of profession by speaking against each other there are so many angles which have yet not come into the picture which were there in the previous case there are the, the new angles have come into the so we have to be responsible and ethical while speaking and posting socially without any publicity or attention we need to choose our heroes wisely we need to develop a consultation and a communication etiquette we need to diagnose well we need to start don't start in a hurry we need to have our documentation as impeccable we need to have consent forms in place we need to tell the patient about the rbos risk benefit and options we need to have a communication one to one proper so that both of us are on the same page before we start it and once we are on the same page trust me guys anything that happens can be managed very easily because the patient is not in for a shock it is only the shock which creates the situation because the courts have always said it the patient has to make an informed choice if somebody tells that it the preoperative condition shows that maybe there is an infection chance let's suppose it is not a extrusion accident let's suppose it is just a we can say a cellulitis or a space infection kind of thing which may be got flared because of maybe a small instrument going in uh, beyond the apex which is quite likely so if if the patient has been warned that there is already infection there might be a result in swelling the patient will make a choice whether i opt for the treatment or not in those cases the patient again is warned even in cases of no treatment you may end up in a similar situation in a few days so the patient is in a consistently correct position to make a choice and that is what matters and that is what is important in the law sense which unfortunately many of us don't resort to we still resort to blanket consents or the ida website consents those are not consent you don't need them they are not valid in any court so kindly try to understand the word is a customized written informed consent whether you want to believe it or not it does exist and uh, of course uh, don't need to say further on that that uh, i am doing these things but never mind so i hope i have put your brain in the think mode and uh, the light bulb has uh, awakened you a bit so if i have disturbed you again my favorite japna ham japna um uh, thank you so much for a patient hearing and uh, this is the whatsapp group community that uh, i am running of course this will be shifted to 512 format very soon uh, by the end of june i'm just getting things uh, notified the group given them three weeks margin so if you want to be added these are advertisement free groups where my own workshops are also not promoted you can send me a message on my cell i'll add you in the group so this is my youtube channel if you are not aware of it uh, go to youtube search dr bhavdeep bhuja as on 10 june 485 plus videos are already there and, and yes of course the uh, seven eight videos new coming by the next thursday with sure so do send me a valuable feedback on my phone on my cell on my page on my youtube channel wherever you watch it book is in big bath both would be welcome equal man thank you so much once again and i stop my share for questions if any from all of you and acknowledge the visitors on my page where this session is happening live so hello dr sonia tena good evening hello dr shikesh telu hello dr parul hello dr ramchand sir hello dr pratik hello dr raghu hello dr vinda hi hello dr sanchit paul hello dr nisha hello dr sneha hello dr jaswant singh ji hello dr manu ji good evening hello dr taul hafiz imran hello dr krupa santosh hello dr sp singh sir hello dr mukesh mittal so i hope uh, this uh, Episode was of value addition in some way or an eye opener for uh, for all of you in some way or the other. Uh, as I told you, the next episode of Miraculous Monday is going to be uh, an hour long episode, and it will not take place on Monday but on Tuesday since uh, it is a event. Uh, it is a I can say a celebration in my family on Monday, twenty seventh June. So it will be it will be taking place on Tuesday. 28 june it will not be a uh, half an hour but a one hour long session and of course i'll notify in the whatsapp group tentatively it will begin around 8 only rather than 8:15 8:20 it will begin at 8 only and end around 9:00 maximum so i'll take up a lot of questions in that in that regard 
So tomorrow is Thursday. We meet for the 25th or the second last episode on the Thunder Thursday series, which also ends with a finale next week. And again, that takes place on a Wednesday because Thursday is 30th June, which is my late dad's uh, death anniversary. Which is I have rechristened that day as Mini Day of Education. There will be webinars separately on that day. Uh, I have planned for that day, but the Thunder Thursday will be pre-planned and taken taking place on. Of course, I'll notify in the WhatsApp groups. So if any of you watching are not in my WhatsApp community, please do let me know. I'll add. So thank you so much, uh, guys, for watching it. I can see Dr. Uh, Dhruvi Joshi. Hello, Dr. Dhruvi. Hello, Dr. Parul. Thank you. Hello, Dr. Dhagash. So thank you, Dr. Ramchandra sir. Thank you, Dr. Sonia. So uh, let's uh, meet tomorrow for Thunder Thursday's penultimate session, episode number twenty-five. Bye. Take care and have a great week ahead.